new at 11 o'clock video that you just have to see. It is crazy. This pickup blocked evening traffic on the Buford connector for several minutes tonight. As you can see, the drivers there slumped over at the wheel. And when a hero driver offered to help, the driver, as you can see right here, sped away. And then watch this crashed into several cars. This is just the beginning of a very mysterious story. Channel 2's Liz Arts watched it all unfold on the Buford Connector this evening. And Liz, you made one of the first calls to get help for this driver who's now still missing. Craig, we called 911 when we saw that man slumped over behind the wheel. This is where it all happened, right out here on the Buford Connector. And this is the fence that he scaled. After he got over that fence, he just disappeared. It's either drunk or very sick or something is, uh, something's clearly wrong with him. We called 911 after we passed this Dodge pickup truck on the Buford Connector Saturday afternoon. It stopped in a lane of traffic. The truck was running and this man sat slumped over and drooling. He stopped in the middle of the road blocking traffic. Other drivers noticed the man too. Something was not right about him. A Georgia Department of Transportation hero unit eventually showed up and tried to wake the man and take his keys. That's when the two got in a scuffle. And with our cameras rolling, the driver sped off, nearly hitting the hero worker. A Channel 2 photographer stayed on the truck as he smashed into two cars, oh. causing a chain reaction that resulted in a five-car accident. Michael McKinnon's BMW was in the middle of it all. It was really scary, and I just kind of like looked over and made sure that Erica was okay. And... But it wasn't over yet. Atlanta police had still not arrived to the scene. The hero worker made one more attempt to stop the man. He managed to get the key out of the truck, and that's when the driver took off. And all of a sudden, he jumped out and, you know. We watched him climb a tree and jump a barbed wire fence. Police arrived a short time after the driver fled. I, I was afraid he was going to um, get hit by a car when he got over the fence up there. Now we came over to this parking lot as well. We saw a few firefighters searching for that man, but again, police have still not found him. No one was seriously injured in that accident. Live in Atlanta in Fulton County, Lizards, Channel 2 Action News, Night Beat.